What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds where I left you probably with a sour taste in your mouth because you did not want to wait to see if this car runs and drives. Well, today's the day. For me, it's like 30 seconds after I pushed the button to stop recording, but for you, I don't know, you maybe had to wait a day or two to see this. So real quick, here's what we did. We got the tires aired up and that's it. The car hasn't moved. It's, it's still sitting right where we left it. Tires are aired up to 32 PSI. Um, it's running. We got the dealer plate on it. We're going to take it out. I've checked the tires. Back tires look to be in really good shape. Front tires have definitely seen better days, but nothing that should cause a danger to the, the public or anything like that. So here we go. We're going to jump right into this. I ain't going to make you wait any longer. Tim, you coming? I know you wouldn't miss this for the world, right? Whew. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. It's a bad time not have air conditioning, ain't it? Hold drive, this for one second. Get, windows, get my seatbelt on here. Safety first. Safety first, people. I am I am so stoked right now. So excited. Here's the dashboard. 128,355 miles. 48 miles on the trip. The gas is under half a tank. The brakes are nice and solid. Man, there's so much potential with a car like this. You could turn this into one heck of a sleeper. You know what I mean? This There's so much room under the hood. This could be a heck of a sleeper. Oh, the the mirrors. Look, they work. The mi <laughs> I've never seen rust uh, on a rear view mirror before. Wow. Like, that's actually rust. Okay. Does the radio work? Yep. So you jump Okay, speakers are shot. The ones on this side are Okay, good. it is in drive. Tim, hold the camera. Let's take her out for a maiden voyage because it looks like this thing has been sitting since uh, somewhere around 08 or 09. Let's get a bottle of wine and christen her. <laughs> yep, I got a bottle of water. Christened. <laughs> I'm excited, man. You never know with these things. If I have a blown tranny, I'm expecting that that's a possibility. This thing's is it's a tank. Yeah. It's a tank. Signals work. Look how smooth that is, Tim. It's heavy old girl. That's second gear. We just went first to second. That's Oh, it just slipped. I knew it couldn't be that easy. We'll take it out on the road. Let's see what it does. Obviously, we have a uh, we have a transmission problem. That sucks. That sucks. Oh, I thought we got lucky. All right, so we're gonna see how bad this transmission is here. We're up to 35. And there it goes, it just, it loses it, man. Now sometimes you can feather the, there it goes, third gear. I know my old cars, man. You can feather the uh, gas pedal and you can get it to shift into third. There she goes. Now we're up to, uh, now we're pushing 50. Cruise control time. Do we have cruise? We do. Cruise control just engaged. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you can see it. Actually, I don't think you can see it. I don't know. There you go. How about that? How about that cruise control? 45. We're going to go put some gas in it right now. She's cruising. Look. cruising obviously we have a transmission problem it's something what what we need to do is check the fluid level that's something we probably should have done to begin with uh, it could be low on training fluid it could have a transmission leak uh, this does not mean that the transmission is bad it just means that uh, you know it's something we need to look into but first things first I gotta put some gas in this bad boy because the gas gauge is bouncing around like crazy. I'm pretty sure it's got rotten gas in it. We've driven it a mile. I don't see any smoke coming out from under the hood. So for now, everything seems to be all right. Let's go get some gas and uh, we'll check the tranny fluid when we get to the gas station. All right, so here's what we've done. We filled it up with premium, uh, put 91 octane in it and filled her up. It held, uh, what, eight, 8.9 gallons, something like that. So uh, hopefully that'll help out a little bit. Um, we did check the transmission fluid, and the transmission fluid is low, um, definitely low. So first stop 
is to uh, a local parts store, whichever's closest. We'll go grab some uh, Dex Merc or whatever, put some uh, tranny fluid in it, fill it up, and we'll see how it does then. So far, it will shift into third gear, and fourth is fine. It's only it's only seeming to be third gear it's having a real issue with. Uh, it goes into overdrive just fine, first and second. When it goes to shift to third, it just kind of loses it. You could flutter the gas a little bit, and it will shift, or you can just give it a little more throttle, and second gear will rev up a little bit, and then it'll shift into third gear. But it shifts every time. It's not even... It doesn't feel like a slip, you know? It's not like it tries third gear and then it falls in and out. It just doesn't shift the third gear unless you play with the gas and then it goes right in. Um, I think the trans is fine. I think we just gotta put some fluid in it. So let's go get some fluid. We'll check the oil and everything, make sure everything else is, well, we can't check the oil because we can't shut it off. Uh, we, we forgot to put the booster pack in the car, so we cannot turn it off. So let's get to the parts store and then I kinda wanna take it on the interstate and see what it does after sitting for like a decade. How's it doing on the highway? Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I love this funnel right here. So we stopped and got us some Dex Merc, Dexron 3. I double checked the transmission fluid again and we're not registering anything on the dipstick at all. Um, but what I can tell you is that I looked underneath it and I don't see any leaks on the transmission. It's a little damp, but I don't see any major leaks. So we're gonna take this tip of the funnel where in this, this transmission is way back here and this has an off and an on. So you twist it, all right, and that should be on. And you twist it like this, that way you don't leak all over the place when you turn it upside down. See what I mean? So you can get, get your funnel in there where it needs to be and then twist it on and it flows right through. So we're gonna start with one quart and we will go from there. All right, so we put one quart in it. We're gonna go ahead and close this off to prevent it from leaking back out. We turn this, uh, it's still on. There we go, now it's off. So we can take this off. Hopefully we don't make too big of a mess here. I'll try to do it over here. Actually, that's not bad at all. Look at that. Not a drop. Not bad. All right, so we're one quart down. We're going to check the fluid. And I don't mind if I overfill it a little bit because most likely we'll probably end up doing a transmission service on this at some point anyway. Uh, I think what it was is whoever donated it thought that the transmission was bad. And because it's an old car, they probably didn't really do too much checking on it. Yeah, it's, it's, that's an entire quart, and we're still uh, we're still very low. Um, I'm not even sure it's registering on the dipstick yet, so we'll do quart number two, and I'll probably just start with about half a quart, and we'll see how much this sucker takes, and then we'll get it back on the road and find out if the transmission still slips, because I, I, I believe the problem is just that it was low on transmission fluid. All right, boys, here we go. Yeah, we're throwing it in a car wash. We got the uh, transmission filled up. And I decided the car needs a bath. It's been sitting for years. We're going to wash it up, see how it looks after it gets a good bath. And then we're going to take it out on the highway and see how it does on the interstate. We're going to find out if we're still missing third gear. I'll tell you what, one thing that we got to do in the very near future is get this air conditioning uh, charged back up. Probably retrofit it with R134 because uh, it's, it's warm in here. So far, so good. No leaks. Nope. That's positive. Let's get it done. Let's see what it looks like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. I'm gonna get on the highway now that we got our little car wash. I'm being very careful here. I don't wanna, I don't wanna spin out like I did just a minute ago. I forgot there's no traction control on these things. It's an old, old car. Here we go. There she goes. No, we're still slipping in third. Still slipping in there. Once it hits third though, look, she's smooth. There's 65, almost 70. Interesting. I mean, she's she's smooth though. We are cruising like it. I mean, it's it's just it's so comfortable. Wow. Dang. We may we're gonna service the transmission, but we may have a bad tranny on our hands, folks. 
you can't win them all and and i'm still going to say this is a win i don't feel i don't feel like i'm upset i don't feel like uh i don't feel like this was a bad deal it's a 375 and dollar car you know what i mean that's other than the transmission which this is a very simple transmission it's not an expensive one let's see what it does here and then boom third gears lost and there it is you just let off the pedal let it glide hit the gas and third gear is right there yeah i i mean i do suspect that we may have a bad transmission that sucks we'll check the fluid again when i get back to the house it doesn't hurt to do a transmission uh filter change and put some fresh fluid and maybe some lucas in it um but i'm not gonna bet that that's gonna solve our problem on this one i've done a little research and i found a guy locally that will do the transmission rebuild for 450 dollars uh that is unbelievably cheap a new torque converter will run me 130 you always want to replace your torque converter He'll offer a 12 month, 12,000 mile warranty, and he will R&R &R the transmission for 300 bucks. You don't get much better than that. You're talking about $750 for a rebuilt transmission installed, plus 130, so $880 total, all in two day turnaround, two days. That means in two days, this car would be back with a rebuilt transmission, new torque converter, running and driving, I would say like it should, but let's be real. It's got a ton of old gas in it. It's not exactly uh, the smoothest um, acceleration in the world right now. And it also has the 5.0, not the 5.7. So that's kind of a Debbie Downer. We did fix the air conditioning. We basically sucked out all the old Freon and we did a retrofit kit on it. We charged it with R12, or sorry, R134A. I think it's R134A, yeah and uh ac is is nice and cold it's wonderful so here's what we're going to do the transmission is still acting up but it will drive cruise control does work and what we're going to do right now we're going to drive down to weird beards because we got to uh we got to put some finishing touches on the dart even though for you guys the dart's long done and over with uh, we got a few finishing touches on the dart to do so that it's ready to go up for sale and we got the front uh the front grill surround and everything oh damn for the Harley truck right there look at that this is the whole grill the whole surround everything right here we're gonna get that out to weird beer and see if he'll be nice enough to paint that for us so what we're gonna do now I don't know if you guys can even see that good lord that is dark wow uh <laughs> so the mileage is 128 373.7 yeah back in these days they had the they still had the decimals there you go you should be able to see that um, 66 miles is what's showing on the trip and 128 373 on the odometer let's get it down to mike and see if it makes the trip this is ridiculously stupid because it's a good 45 minute drive plus there 45 minutes back it's 10 21 at night let's do this man i don't know what's going on here but we're like two miles from where we need to be well two miles from the exit here hold this tim Yeah, two miles from the exit, and we got something real bad must have happened over here. I don't see anything, though, do you? No. I think somebody rolled off into the ditch back there. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe. I think this truck had something to do with it. Oh, yeah, my. Let's see. Are we going to lose third gear? Here it goes. Get ready. There goes third gear. Let off the gas. Well, I know it's hard to see, but uh, there, there's the uh, there's the bubble caprice. There's the trunk to the 350Z Nissan project. The Dodge Dart, which hopefully by the time you guys see this video is long gone. We made it. We made it down here to Weird Beards in that $375 Chevy Caprice has been sitting for 10 years and with a third gear that don't like to really function half the time. We made it, so now, now we gotta get it back to the house. 
and, and see if it makes it home. And then I guess that'll conclude the video and then we'll figure out later whether we're gonna replace the transmission, pay somebody to do it or what. Stay tuned. So I said we're gonna do another walk around after we got the, uh, the car washed. And here she is, clean. It actually came out pretty decent. What a magnificent boat this is. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. I think it could use paint though. And there's a few dings it could probably use taken care of, but overall, I think the old girl came out pretty nice. Okay, so it's the next day. It was late. Uh, we hung out with Mike last night for quite a while. We didn't get home until after two o'clock in the morning. Nothing eventful happened, nothing interesting happened. Um, we came home, we put the battery on charge. It still seemed like the, the battery will start the car just fine, but uh, it does seem like the battery may be just a little bit weak. So I wouldn't be surprised if we got to replace the battery. Um, one thing that Tim and I both loved about this car is you can see we got dirt. All, well, maybe you can see, I don't know. We got dirt all over the tires, man. Uh, we took it down Mike's dirt road and the, the, you can't even feel like the bumps in the road you can't yes thank you appreciate it thank you i'll just do my video when you're done flying around over my house um yeah so you can't feel bumps in the road railroad tracks like this thing is so comfortable it's it's unbelievable so we have determined you know with 100 percent certainty the uh the battery or the or never mind not the battery the transmission is bad looks like the battery took the charge and it has been reconditioned so that means we should be able to put the key in it and it shouldn't have any issues at all just cranking right over whoo it's warm let's try it out and uh, i wanted to show you guys let's see if well i have to put it in drive listen to that now remember it's still got bad gas in it all right she's still got bad gas let me show you the uh, show you the mileage here. So we're at 128, 463, and the trip. See if we can come over here to the trip. Got to move this camera around like constantly here. The trip is sitting at uh, 155.9. Now, when we got the car, the trip had 48 miles on it. So we have put over 100 miles on this car. 100 miles, and the AC. Oh my goodness, the AC is phenomenal in this thing. Give it a second cool off because it is extremely hot outside. There we go. Ah, oh, nice cold air. One thing I do notice is my, uh, <laughs> my fuel gauge has disappeared. The gauge is gone. That's part of having bad gas in the tank. It was fluctuating around yesterday and, uh, man, we got no lights on, no warning lights at all it's running good air conditioning is good just got a bad transmission you know start it up one more time i love it i love it so with that, I say we leave this video, we end this video on a positive note. We got a $375 car, $585 after fees. We were able to drive, I mean, not only to run the errands that we did yesterday, but uh, we even drove it down to Weird Beard, which is, uh, I think it's about 50 miles away or so. So, I mean, we've put over 100 miles on a car that was literally uh, $585. Now, I said before, I think I said before early in the video that we were going to tear into the transmission, take the pan off. There's really no reason to. Um, I pulled the dipstick out, and with the fluid at the correct level now, you can clearly see there is a lot of gray material in the fluid. Uh, the transmission's burned up, and I was a little disappointed, obviously. You always hope you get one that's got no problems, but sometimes it happens. You know, and I'm thinking at the end of the day, the transmission's going to run me roughly $1,000 installed, new torque converter and everything rebuilt. And this car have a rebuilt transmission in it, so even if I do decide to turn around and sell it, we can sell it to somebody and they can know that it's got a remanufactured transmission in it, an engine that doesn't leak a drop of oil, that doesn't smoke, and runs very very well so i think there's i still don't think there's any way to lose money on it 
Now, Mike, Mike looked at it last night, and Mike loved the old bubble caprice, too, and he had all kinds of ideas. So did, so did I. We're thinking we could put a new front bumper cover on it, send it to Mako, get a fresh paint job, same color, and turn it into a sleeper. Make it look all stock, all original, even leave the hubcaps on it. But perhaps down the road, it's something we could put a... Uh, a, a motor into a beefed up transmission into some exhaust you know make it make it really fun but on the outside it just looks like a grandma car one thing mike did say uh is that we got to get the windows tinted. he said man you got to get those windows tinted for sure he said this car should have had the windows tinted in 1993 windows have got to get tinted and he thinks with a uh, with a with a paint job that looks just like this keep it as original as possible new tires keep the hubcaps we could put a beefy engine in it down the road a beefy transmission in it down the road and you know full 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 exhaust cut the cats we'll do headers all the way back this thing could be this thing could be tough this thing could be tough but when you look at it you're just going to see a grandma car so comment below and tell me what your thoughts are and what you think we should do to this chances are what i'm probably going to do is flip it because you all know just as well as i do i don't keep anything I sell everything. That's just how I am. That's how it goes. But I am curious to see what you guys think. So drop your comments below and uh, we'll take all that into consideration when we determine what to do with this. I still don't know if we're going to send it off to get the tranny done. I'm thinking that's probably what I need to do. Um, I haven't left for Oregon just yet. Although by the time you see this video, I've already probably been back from Oregon. Um, so I could drop this off now. And then by the time I get home for my trip to Oregon, this car will be done. It'll be finished, ready to go, ready to pick up. And uh, then all that's left is really put a set of tires on it, some shocks. And I think this car will be good to go. So drop your comments below. If you like this car, if you like the content, give the, give the video a thumbs up. And if you don't, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs down. Like I said, leave those comments below. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I certainly appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds. My Instagram followers, they saw this car goodness i'm thinking a good week or so before you guys get to see it on youtube so you get plenty of uh of updates before you see them on youtube if you follow me on the gram so hit me up auto auction rebuild stay safe out there everybody and i will catch you all very soon in the next one